Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Access provides you with a simple query wizard, which you can use to initially create queries. However, do not rely too heavily on this tool, as at some point you will inevitably have to create a query that is more complex than this tool allows. At some point, you must learn how to create a query in Query Design View versus using the wizard to create them. However, to create a simple query using the wizard, click Queries in the Database Container. Then click the New button in the Database Container, and this will launch the New Query dialog box, showing you the ways in which we can create queries. Select the Simple Query Wizard choice, and then click OK. In the first screen of the wizard, you must select the first table from which you will pull data by using the Table Queries drop-down. Notice that you can select fields from any query or table that has been created. So let's say, for example, we wanted to see all the categories. We could choose the Table Categories. When you've selected a table or a query, the fields in the table or query will display in the Available Fields list box. To then add a field from a table to the query, select the name of the field from the table in the Available Fields list box and click the right pointing arrow button to move it into the selected fields. So let's choose Category Name and move that over. You can repeat this as needed for any tables selecting all the fields that you're needing to see in the query. So let's say in addition to Categories, I also wanted to see the Products and the product name. When you're ready, click Next, and if you only selected fields from a single table in the first screen, then the next screen would only ask you to provide the query with a name and then click Finish to actually create the query. If, however, you pick data fields from two or more related tables, you'll instead view a second screen which asks if you would like a detail or a summary query. You can select the Option button for the type of query that you wish to create. If you show Detail, it shows every field of every record in the table, or tables. If you choose Summary, you'll then be presented with a window in which you can select what type of summary to perform over a selected field. So if we click Summary Options here, If you had a numeric field, you would see the field name and you could check off whether you wanted the sum, the average, the min, or the max or you could just count the records in the products, which we have a little checkbox down here for that. So if I chose that, the query would show the total count of products for each category. So let's say that I'd like to see that, so I just choose that checkbox, click OK. Click Next. You have to give it a name, which you may type into the text box at the top of the third screen, and then just click Finish. So that's how many products we have. Also, they show the first product in each group. But you can see that there's obviously more than the one shown. And when you're done, simply close it. It'll ask if you want to save changes to the layout, if you make any changes, once again, to the layout of the information. And I could say yes or no as appropriate. And then in the future, you can rerun the query by simply giving it a double click in the database container. Or if you don't want it, you can select it and simply click Delete. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.